Hello guys, it's Grimditch here at another video and today a different video from my Road to Die series because I got a lot of requests on how to do clue scrolls efficiently with the right preset and the right inventory so that's what I'm going to do in this video is show you my preset for doing clue scrolls and not necessarily how to do them because it's not really that difficult inventory can be a quite tricky part let's get into the inventory first and let's see what I have in my inventory. Uh, first off, I have the teleport runes, which is absolutely necessary, of course, to do clue scrolls because of the Pharaoh teleport and the Felador teleport for the elite clue scrolls. Next up, we have the arc journal, which is really handy to do while doing master clues because a lot of those steps are in the arc. So that's why this journal, you really need to have that in your inventory while doing master clue scrolls. And also it's quite handy for the step uh, near the north part of Port Serim. And uh, I have the dungeoneering cape T, which is very handy. You just activate Activate it and you have a lot of teleports to places that you usually take quite a while to get there. The Teverly Hellout Dungeon is a very handy one, of course, and for example the Polypore Dungeon and the Brimhaven Metal Dragon Dungeon for the Elite Crew Scrolls. And for Master Clues you have also the Dragon Tooth Celestial Dragon Dungeon. A very much needed item for doing uh, especially Elite Crew Scrolls and Master Clues Scrolls. The third item or the second item on this row is the Wicked Hood. You don't use that all that often. And I have my Ring of Kingship for the Elite Crew Scrolls which you use quite a lot. And you have the Emerald Lettern which is used for the Lumbridge Swamp Scan Crew Scroll and the uh, Portable Fairy Ring is an item you should invest in because, well, invest, it's not really expensive or anything, but it's really handy for those hard cruise calls. It gets you around very quickly. You can make that on your invention workbench for the uh, skill necklace C. You can make it into a C necklace because you can store up to 100 uh, charges in there. So you have 100 teleports to the for example, the fishing guild or the barbarian outpost, which is very, very nice for those hard clue scrolls. Also the ring of dueling and the amulet of glory I have in my inventory as well. The rope is used for one clue scroll in particular, and that's the clue scroll near the Fremenic area. Also I have two teleport scrolls, the Lumbrid one and the Polniva, or however you want to pronounce that, in my inventory because you use those two the most frequent, a bit faster than right clicking your Globetrotter outfit. It. Also have the spirit tree router which can teleport you to any spirit tree you have planted. Very handy to get to the tree gnome stronghold for example. Uh, I have the juju teleport spirit back in my inventory. My maxcape, the attuned crystal teleport sheet for the Latia teleport and the um, priftiness clue scroll. Really recommend getting those attuned crystal teleport sheets. And also I have my meerkat always in my inventory with those uh, fetched meerkat scrolls. Because it saves a lot of time uh, not killing the wizards and just using the special ability for your meerkats. So that's my inventory setup. Of course if you have any suggestions put it in the comment section down below. Because I can forget some of the things of course. This is the setup I've used for quite a while and it's really convenient for me. Let's go into the gear setup which isn't that difficult to be honest. I have my full globe trotter outfit and uh, a rook wood recommend to buy that eventually because it really saves a hell of a long time of course the hidey holes you have to put all the items in the hidey holes first to order to use the perform emote uh, option on your trousers but uh, or your shorts but really do that guys it saves a hell of a lot of time also have my look of the dwarves for when i accidentally open one of the caskets which happens sometimes with hard crew scrolls and i have four weapons i have abyssal orb and abyssal wand with the mobile perk on the wand and the looting perk because uh, you need to search quite a lot while doing clue scrolls it saves a little bit of time so that's why the mobile perk is on there it's not a side or tier 90 weapon because i have different perks on there so i couldn't do that and i find it a little bit too overkill to buy another tier 90 only to do clue scrolls with a mobile perk on there so that's why i have a visual wand and it works fine I only use it with some of the emote clue scrolls and that's about it. But that was all I have to say about my gear setup and my inventory while doing clue scrolls. Hope you find it helpful. I want to see another video while I'm doing clue scrolls and give you tips there. I can make that. Just put it in the comment section down below if you would like that. And uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more clue scroll and bossing related content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.